Now in this tutorial we will try to create a class that will help us call the static methods from this class which is working with static methods. So let's try to create this class and we're going to call this one using static methods of another class. Uh, it's a long name that, that defines the purpose of the class. And let me set up my class. This tutorial will in fact be a very brief tutorial because all we are doing is we are calling the methods of uh, static methods of another class. Since both classes are part of the same package, I don't necessarily need an import statement. All I need to know is the name of the other class. And as I am calling, I put a period here, and it gives me a little drop down box to choose from. So from this drop down box, I choose my print message, and that is the first method. Then I call upon this class and I decide to choose the zip code. Now notice zip code actually returns an integer back to me and it tells me right over here in this drop down box that the method name is zip code. It returns an integer as opposed to print message that returns a void and it belongs to this class. So now when I, what I must make sure is that when zip code accepts a value from the user because that's what it does I must be able to catch that value in some kind of a variable of type int so that I can then display that value back to the user. Um, so in this program the only thing different that I'm going to do is I will try to display the value on the console and I will also try to display the value in J option pane so that you can see um, how it works in both environments. Um, so I will just use null and a little message down here uh, that says zip code is just to be a little different uh, from the first message and let's try to run this one and as you can see it gives me a little drop down box I'm like a little pop up dialog box to accept input from the user and as I enter a zip code and hit OK you will notice that the zip code gets displayed down here and also up here in a message and Java world is also being preserved here uh, I'm mean like displayed here so um, that's pretty much shows us as how you can call static methods of one class from another class you're just gonna make sure that the static methods are public plus both classes can see each other if they're in different packages you can import if they're in the same packages you don't even need to import you just need to know the name of the class Thank you.